Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the QX90C Pro Micro Brushed Quadcopter from Ishin. This is the upgraded version of the Ishin QX90C which unfortunately I wasn't able to review but I did review in the past the Ishin QX90 which was a great ready to fly micro brushed quadcopter. So in this video I'm going to show you what's new, go through its features, show you how to set it up and of course take it for a test flight and give you my conclusion. This quadcopter is available in three versions. You can get the basic version which comes with only one battery. The standard version which is the one I've got comes with three batteries and you can also get an advanced version which comes with a multiple output charger from Chosun, five batteries, more spare propellers and also a spare canopy. In addition you can choose the receiver, the one I've got is the Sky version. It's also available with a Flysky receiver or a DSM2 slash DSMX receiver. So let's start by opening the box and see everything we're getting inside. The box itself is pretty big, but only the top compartment is being used. So you can see we're getting the instructions manual, which is pretty short and tells you how to set up the quadcopter. The quadcopter itself with one battery on its bottom, two batteries. These are, by the way, 600 mAh 1S batteries, one set of spare propellers and this propeller extractor tool, a simple USB charger and a screwdriver. The bottom compartment is empty and it's saved for the accessories that comes with the advanced version, so one box is shared between all the versions. Now let's have a look on the quadcopter itself. First of all, as you can see, its body is made out of plastic, just like the Ishin QX90C. The weight of the quadcopter without the battery is 34.9 grams, and after adding the included 600mAh 1S battery, the weight is 50.7 grams. The motors that this quadcopter is using are 8520 motors and the distance between motor to motor is about 89.5 millimeters. Just like the QX90C it uses 55 millimeters propellers and I recommend before taking this quadcopter outdoors to just give them a little press to make sure they are properly secured otherwise you might lose them in the middle of the flight. On the center of the quadcopter we can find this flight controller from Ishin. It comes pre-flashed with Beta Flight 3.2.1 and it's running Omnibus F3 firmware. In addition, in this version it has an integrated Sky D8 receiver and I'm going to go through its settings later in this video. As far as I know, it can support also 2S batteries but I'm not 100% sure so I'm only going to test it with the provided 1S battery. On the front of the quadcopter we can find the camera. This is an all-in-one 600 TV line 25mW 40H channels camera. You can also set its angle by loosening the screws on the sides but you don't have a lot of angle to play with. You can see it goes all the way up to about this angle and all the way down to about this angle. Removing the canopy is pretty easy and is done by just loosening these two latches over here. And then we can access the bind button in order to bind the quadcopter and it also will enable us to set the bend and channel in a more convenient way. Binding the quadcopter is simply done by putting your transmitter on mode D8, channels 1 to 8, hit bind and then connect the battery or power it up through the micro USB port while pressing the bind button. After binding it successfully you're going to see the RSSI on your screen. Configuring the VTX is done by pressing this button over here. Short pressing it is going to change the channel. You can see that the red LED indicator is moving. The left indicator indicates 1 and it goes all the way to 8. Changing the band is done by long pressing this button for about 3 seconds and now you can see that the blue LED indicator is moving. The left LED indicator indicates A, then B, C, D, H and L. I'm going to set it to D7 which stands for 5860. So now the band is on D and I'm going to set the channel to 7 and as you can see now the FEV is working. By the way you can see that we also get in the RSSI feedback on the screen which is a very nice feature especially when flying this quadcopter outdoors. Another nice addition when flying this quadcopter outdoors is this buzzer which is pretty loud and is going to help you to find it in case of a crash. The next thing I'm going to do is to go through beta flight configuration, then take it outdoors for a test flight, and I'll see you in the end of this video in order to give you my conclusion.
Overall, if you're looking for a ready to fly micro brushed quadcopter for outdoor flying, I think that the Ishin QX90 C Pro is going to be an excellent choice. However, you need to take into consideration that it does suffer from a couple of issues. First of all, as you can see on my last crash, these two motor wires were cut and I don't think I will be able to fix it. I'm just going to replace the motor. So I recommend putting a little bit of duct tape on the bottom of the quadcopter in order to prevent from happening. Second of all, this camera is not that great and I really wish that Ishin are going to upgrade it on their next version. It couldn't handle light well and also the image quality is not that good. And finally, I recommend to put some hot glue in order to secure the camera. You could see some vibrations on the footage and it happened because even though these two screws are fastened all the way down, it can still wobble. So adding some hot glue on top is going to prevent from happening. In terms of flight time, you can expect about 5 minutes of flight time using the provided 600mAh 1S battery. And the maximum range was about 150 meters. It's not a lot, but for a micro brush quadcopter, it's not that bad. So as always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this quadcopter, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. And consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.